What's up guys? Um, I did a video when I first got the car and I thought that I'd do a video since winter is about to start. Just a little update on how everything's going with the car. I uh, had it for about a thousand miles so far. Haven't had any issues. 2.2 um, .2 runs beautifully. Uh, got my rims painted on it. I uh, got some new neochrome lug nuts and new stem stem cap covers whatever I clean the interior I mean it's kind of dirty right now because I cleaned it a little ways ago and you can see if it'll focus thank you I put 941.7 miles on it which that is not including the 10 I drove to bring it home so it's at 206, 255. I've changed out the stereo, which I currently don't have the faceplate out here with me. I should have grabbed that, but shame on me. Um, it's just, it's so much cleaner now. I mean, except on the side where all the leaves are where people get in, but. Look at this broken, which is kind of annoying. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see in here. I changed out all four of my speakers for a set of Kicker CS65s. I also did a little modification in the engine. Not really too major yet. The exhaust still leaks, of course. Oop, oh, nearly fell over. A little tip. Um, the biggest issue I had was this piece of trim fell off of the front up there. I got my sunglasses up top too, next to the microphone that I put in with the stereo. But I took my resonator, I think it was, my intake resonator off. So you get, it comes out of the engine here and all the way, it just stops here. There's nothing on the other side of this. And of course it's gonna be difficult. You can look at a screw. Like Pull this off. My door just shut over there. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit old, but I pull the filter out. Which I think it's a pretty decent filter, but you never know. Especially with a used car. It literally just stops right there so I've heard that that gives power gains along the uh, around the 3500 rpm range which I have noticed actually um, she feels a lot nicer they get pulls harder through second and third gear which I mean it's a four-speed auto but I'd rather have a five-speed manual but what can you do um, and of course, I haven't gotten around to fixing this, which I had planned to do before snow hit, but snow had already hit, and then died away. Um, you can't tell, though. It's somebody moving in down there. And, uh, keep my snow brush in here now, because it was completely covered. I have a couple of pic pictures of that first snowfall where the aerial was buried up to about here off the top of the car which I mean that's like foot foot and a half or snow of snow or so can't talk I just got off school so well might as well start it up it's lit up like a Christmas tree it's ready for December <laughs> coincidentally this is the 30th I'm recording this on You can stop beeping. Thank you. As I said, there is still that gasket leak and this door is really worn out.
And then uh, still this doesn't work. Nice even puffs. Yeah, only that driver's door is bad. As I before mentioned, there is a leak down here, and it has gotten worse, unfortunately. But, I digress. 742 bucks, not a bad car. Of course, this doesn't work. Um... I should be getting my proper license. Oh, that's so much better. Um, I should be getting my proper license the 11th of December, I want to say, is when I'm shooting for. But I'd take you guys for a ride, but again, license. But all the electrics still work. Got my, uh, Turn signals here. My brights, which they're actually pretty bright. My bright hold. Parking lights do work, but you can't tell because the lights are on anyways. A little dimmer in the gauges works. My wipers. There's a smear. You'd think it rained. My rear. My fan. On all settings, all of these little things work. All my settings here. Um, AC does work. You can hear the engine change. There's a relay that I noticed. You push this in, just something on the dashboard just goes clack. It's up in here somewhere. But you can see the wire, sort of, where I ran. It's all up and along here, up into my mic. And it runs down that side. Kill it for now, just for noise sake. Comes down along here, tucks in down underneath, which is a mess, I might add. Goes into there, back in behind the stereo. So, yeah, it automatically closed. I have an auto door. It's beautiful when it focuses properly. My phone's been having some issues recently. Ooh, look at that flashing. There we go. Yep. Uh, of course, also, um, all four windows go up and down properly how they're supposed to. Thank you for that symphony. Although I noticed when this window goes down, I don't know if you guys can see that. It presses against the inside of my door. My auto down works. I do not have auto up. That one works. This one scared my parents just because of how it's hinged. It was weird. It's not happy about going back up, is it? And then there's my rear driver's side. Oop, wrong direction.
That was a fun noise. Oh no, my engine isn't running, so I must check it. So yeah, um, car works, car works great. Just a little update video I'll probably do when I get my license. I might do something in a parking lot somewhere. Thank you. Might do something in a parking lot somewhere for you guys. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to update uh, everybody. And how I look, not really the best. I'm not the prettiest motherfucker out there, but I got my own car. And everybody makes fun of me for that, so fuck them. I see myself in the mirror. That's why I'm holding it up here, so I can see myself. Don't judge me. Thanks for watching. Bye.